Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name's Jolie, and today is March 3rd. We're in March, marching along, and we're going to be reading from Each Day New Beginning. Ready? Let's see what we got. Welcome back. I read every day, God willing. And um, so I have many books on this channel. If you're new here, welcome. And hello to everybody who's been here for a while. Is my cat there? Maybe it's, I don't know. I thought I saw a tail looking. So anyway, here we go. We're going to start reading. So we are with a quote from Kathleen Casey Tyson. And it says, most kids hear what you say. Some kids do what you say. But all kids do what you do. Okay. So we are role models for many people our children, our coworkers, other people in the program, other people here together in uh, 12 step. The 12th step encourages us to set good examples for anyone who might be looking on. Living a principled life takes practice and progress, not perfection. And um, that's what's hoped for. So abstinence has offered us new tools for shaping our behavior. No longer must we regret what we did yesterday <laughs> or last week. No longer are we doing that. Hopefully. Well, sometimes they still do. But <laughs> no longer must we regret what we did yesterday or last week. We are learning to monitor our actions. But even more importantly, we are defining our values. They in turn influence what we say and do according to our values that we're being aware of instead of just deciding at each moment that we make these globes of, oh, I wish I would, you know, like, oh, I didn't, did I say that? I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that, you know, right? So that's, when we have unconscious and subconscious um, things going on and it comes out and we're like, I didn't, that isn't me. That isn't what I want to say, but, oh, you know, just take it for what it is. You know, it's just a joke. You know, it's because it's unconscious within us, right? If we're offending other people, um, that could be a sign that we need to be growing in our awareness and taking responsibility for what we, how we come off, right? So that we can, um, yeah, not for this, not the, for the sake of, of tiptoeing around other people, just so that we're aware of ourselves. That's all we can do. We can't control other people. It's not like trying to manipulate them with our actions by being kind, so-called kind, right? It's about being aware of really what's my motivation here. Is it truly for kindness? Then I'll, I can also be quiet. I don't have to make a comment or a judgment. I can just allow that, allow other people to be who they are. It's not by permission. I'm not permitting them to be who they are. I'm just accepting that's who they are like that kind of thing, like it's how it goes. And then realize, you know, like knowing what's coming out of my mouth. Does that make sense? That's where abstinence helps in that. And uh, just one day at a time, okay? It's, if you're new to being abstinent with um, alcohol or drugs or squashing feelings, you know, like I still squash feelings with like Facebook marketplace and stuff like that, like for work. 
though I I'm actively invested in my recovery. So it's a uh, progress, not perfection. Okay. And it's, it's like this, you know, it's waving woofy. So thoughtful responses in situations we encounter require conscious attention to those events. We need reminding perhaps that our behavior is continuously telling others who we are, our behavior and what we value and how we view the people close to us. So if we're judging other people and it comes out like that's how we view them. That's we view them that way. Whether we, when we say the things and then we're called out on that, like, do we really, no, I didn't really mean that. Uh, I like your jeans or, uh, you know, like, oh, just, you know, I wasn't thinking that. You know, it comes out like it's like when it's like when you're painting a, a wall that like somebody was renting a room, right? And then you go in and you paint the wall to clean it up. And then stuff keeps seeping out from underneath, like if they were smoking cigarettes or something or or if you are right, like if you're painting pine and you don't put a primer on it, even if you put a primer on it, the, the what do they call it? Those eyes, the pine circle things will still kind of seep out. So you know it's pine, does that make sense? So like you'll have to, yeah, I don't know if that's a good metaphor or not, but it's like, um, it comes out one way or the other. So whether we're aware of it or not, it still comes out and is seen. So then we're wondering like, why don't we, why don't people ask us to do things? You know, oh, because maybe you're kind of a butthead and, and everybody can see it, even though they, they're they like, I don't know, like they're nice, but there's something about them. It's because maybe you're holding on to resentments or you're blaming the universe or God for the past things that have happened to you in your life, like, you know, family issues or, you know, like you would, you would act this way if this happened to you, like, and maybe you've even squashed that and you have like this sweet demeanor. It seems like everything's great because your house is all put together, but you're still like, like um, one of those, I told you so people or, oh, you know, like, that's not okay. I need to tell you what to do. Like, oh, I don't like that color. So I'm going to tell you all the reasons why you don't want to use that. You know, it's kind of like, that's a, you like a manipulative type of um, behavior. So I can see that in myself and therefore, you know, I don't, it's, 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 um, it's like cleaning away the, the glass that, that still has something on it that you can't get off. You yeah, keep, keep like wiping it or something. So it, maybe it'll never come off. So, but you can be aware of it. Like, Okay, so this piece of glass, this mirror, isn't, you know, has some damage to it. So it's, I accept that. And I want that mirror anyhow. So then I can like appreciate it and then just call it for what it is, not like, oh, it's scratch free. You know, it's, it's actually has some type of, um, yeah, as we all are. We're all, I don't know, we're all damaged goods in some shape or form. It's what you use, how you, you know, one man's, one person's trash is another person's treasure. So like be your own treasure. Even though you've, you can see yourself as trash or you can see yourself as treasure. Like, I feel like I'm a vintage, well, antique, vintage, you know, what am I like? I'm just who I am. So, and I'm taking care of that. 
You know, so like if you have an antique vintage piece that uh, the legs busted off, you know, like then you can, I don't know, I'm a lot of metaphors today. So, <laughs> all right, finish the reading. You have to get going. I have to go pick up somebody from work. All right, so, so all of us consciously or otherwise imitate behavior patterns of persons we admire. Unfortunately, we sometimes mimic unfavorable behavior also. Okay. There are those casting their attention our way. The opportunity to model favorable behavior waits us. So people will follow my lead. I will walk softly humbly, and I will walk lovingly. It's a choice I can make today. God, grant us the serenity. Just take a nice deep breath in and be here, present, right this moment. We're okay right now. Even if we're not okay, it's okay not to be okay. But we're all right. We're surviving. We're right here, right now. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change. We cannot change the circumstances of the outside of us. Okay? We can accept them. So um, to have the courage to change the things we can. Right here, my perceptions, my actions, my attitude. And the wisdom to know the difference, be grounded in the reality that is, be okay with that and know that I am never alone, that the universe has my back, that when I'm humbled daily, I can just be open for that and be okay knowing that I've made mistakes in my life and that those mistakes are my greatest asset because I can learn from those. It's a school of life here. All right, so that's it. I love you. I love you so much. Thumbs up so other people can find us. And um, God willing, I'll be here tomorrow. I do want to start reading again um, some more step work on Paths to Recovery. Um, we're up to step four. There are 12, so you know I'm kind of stuck on the one, two, three four, one, two, three, four. Yeah. So, um, I'm in my third year and I'm really happy. Life is good. Uh, even when it's not. So I'll see you God willing tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Please say stuff in the comments. Let me know how you're doing and what came up for you and with this reading. Okay. All right. Very good.